welcome back to the Unreal SMP and today we've been doing the mining side of Minecraft. We're here in our little tunnel that we've dug out. We spent quite a while doing all these pokey holes and tunnels and we managed to get quite a bit of diamonds. We got a lot of blackstone which is something I didn't really expect but I suppose that's what happens when you play modded. We have the Terralift mod installed I believe it's called. And yeah, so we got quite a few diamonds. So we can finally get out of this iron gear that we've got on. This is everything that we got from that big pile outside. And that might be the most diamonds that I've got in one mining session, which is brilliant because now we can make some armor. Yay! And we've still got a stack and four left, which is brilliant because we're going to need them to fix some of these tools and things like that. I've been doing some lighting up because this is getting out of hand. I've just been going around and the way that I like to light up things is just to really simply place a torch and then some moss over the top. And eventually there's going to be a path that runs through here. And I think what I want to work on next is this little bridge here and really connect these two buildings together. I've not really got a plan for this bridge. I've just kind of laid down some dirt and I'm going to kind of just wing it here a little bit so it might not end up looking great. But my thinking is that we want something with like a gentle arch that goes over the water here. And we've got some... We've got some of these blocks that we can try out. There's like loads of different variants of the andesite. Let's cut andesite. Oh, I've put that one down already. <laughs> um, the andesite bricks. And then there's also this different, different slab. That's kind of like, it's very similar to this one. So I'm going to do something with them and see if I can get a nice shape here. I think I've got a shape that I like now. And I just need to do it on the other side and fill in the middle bit. This is what I've landed on and it's quite simple again, which is what I was aiming for. Uh, but I really like the curve of it. It's hard to see. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go into free mode here so that you can see. Yeah, I really like the curve of this because it's a quite small area. So you can't really go any bigger than that or smaller than that without it looking a little bit strange. And now I think what we need to do is come in with some paths here and and I think I might want to keep it dirt like this like so like a more natural path up here just like we have the stone cutter that gives us different types of like variants of stone and things like that chipped has its own set of tables so you've got the mason table which is kind of like an upgraded version of of the stone cutter. You have the carpenter's table, which I believe does wood. Yeah, different types of wood. You have a loom, which is for different types of wool, but, and you can also do carpet as well. So it gives you all these different types of, of, of carpet. And you just, um, if I just got normal, yeah, I've just done normal wool. Anyway, we'll mess with that later. The thing that I want to look at today is this. This is the botanist table. And it gives us all these different varieties of dirt. And I just want to use a couple to do our path. So I'm thinking the sanded dirt. And that's give us that. And then the small the small dirt bricks. I think these will go really well together. And we're just going to do just like a variety path like this. Now normally in vanilla what I'd usually use is I'd use brown concrete powder for this and that works quite well as well. carried this path all the way over here and across the bridge and I've tried to blend it a little bit here 
And I think what I want to do now is I think I want to work on this interior. Yeah, I've just split it and I think I'm going to put the path all the way around and this is going to be kind of like the general path design I think for the whole area. It was really easy to do and it's easy to get my hands on dirt as well. Um, yeah, I want to start on the interior now. And I'm going to come in here and just do the floors and stuff and try tidy up the roof. I'm thinking terracotta for the floors and keep with this like Spanish theme that we've kind of got going on here. We're going to get back to that later, but first, Superman popped over and we went to go see what he's been doing at his base. Hey, here we go. Yeah, unfortunately I had sacrificed the window outside there for the display board. Wow, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it also tells you when the train will leave. Arrives in now. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I need one of these. I mean, I mean, if you look above the welcome, you can see a cog. Cool. I mean, that kind of adds to it, honestly. Look, and now it's telling you when the train will arrive. Seven minutes, so it takes about seven minutes to do a full run, yeah. then. That's not bad. You like my entrance, how it looks. Yeah, it's nice. You like you like the Blackstone, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, uh, the walls used to be really consistent when it comes to, you know, how it was thing. But I had no choice at the time, and... Okay, just I'm just preparing for the swarm of villagers that's gonna crowd around me. <laughs> a child used to live in this house. <laughs> right. I <Before laughs> like the bars died. on the window. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, after, after she died, I repurposed it into holding a creeper, but they kept despawning. So uh, when I was becoming a king, I decided yeah. to uh, just make it into the prison. Did you not name tag it? I did. And it just Didn't still kept it too spawning. Oh. Yep. That's dodgy. Or do you want to bet one of the Tell other players it. just killed it? Or... <laughs> I, uh, I also redesigned the uh, chicken farm. Alright. It's a lot better than it, when it used to look like. It was had a little F on the side because F to pay respects. It's, part it's got chickens. plenty of stacks of chicken to come so I won't run out of food for a while. This is basically like one of those battery farms. My daughter, Charlie. Oh, hello. Well, she's still alive, so that's good. Well, I've not <laughs> had a child die in a while. All right. It's like when you... I don't know if you've ever played The Sims. And mm. you're not used to it, so they just keep dying also, or uh, keep getting taken away. Most of the buildings that are bordered, you know, against the wall, I've put, you know, a window to the outside. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, like you could you could pop this obsidian I mean, here I could, I and could, still keep I, the white, yeah. and it would it would look really cool. I think. I mean, you don't have to do it with this building. I just that was my like first step towards being a builder. I mean, uh, I'm I'm always wanting to you know improve my main yeah. house. Yeah, I feel like it, it's something that definitely happens. Just just it just happens naturally where you, you go for the the square because it's just like it's it's the easiest thing to build. But yeah, the first the first step of me like trying to be a bit a better builder was was just framing, learning how to like frame a building, and add different buildings onto it so that it didn't look as as um well just square really, um mm. and cubic. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, more of a rectangle. It's not perfectly square. Yeah, but that, that that's my uh, medical clinic. Which what? this oh this is the medic all yeah. oh, right okay is this all you need then like a brewing stand and a cauldron yeah um and the flower pot and the flower pot the flower pot's important okay i have tried everything to get these two together they're both available i've tried to give him rings but every time i talk to her i try to give her the gift of the ring and she just says basically that she's not close enough to the person. There's nowhere in sight. 
I've tried everything to get these together. I've even tried this. Look, you don't get much closer than this. But these guys just do not like each other. So I'm gonna go and try find a separate village and see if maybe bringing in different villagers will work. All right, here's the village I was talking about. And we're not gonna mention how this procedurally generated village is better than my current base. <laughs> Ooh, I like that chimney. That's that's a cool chimney. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Ooh, I see our first f villager. You want to be my friend? Interact. Let's have a look at the family tree and see if his is related. Oh no, he's an orphan. I'm gonna take this guy. Let's we see anyone else. What's his job actually? Oh, he's a Fletcher. Is he a Fletcher? Yes, he is. Okay. Maybe we want to look for a librarian first. Ooh! I'm gonna take this rabbit hide. Probably have a look around actually if it's not been looted. I kinda just wanna take out the lamps that bad. Ooh, and candles! I want candles. And flower pots. Now that we've ransacked this village, we can head home. Right, we've brought her home, but instead of taking her back to that starter house I think I'm gonna put her in here and then we can start bringing villagers over this is your new home now uh oh ah come back yeah there you go I'm gonna talk to her and say stay here let's try this again I think they're both guards as well I don't think that has any effect but it can't hurt you boop gift yes are they married now from the tree yes married right okay after a bit of research i found out that you need to gift them both a cake each you know kind of like when you're breeding cows why didn't i think of that gift cake interact gift cake no thanks what? Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna leave them to it and hope that one cake just does the trick. <laughs> Floor is done. And now I just want to come in here and make some little shelves. I think something like this. I'll connect it upstairs afterwards. And... And then I was thinking shelves along here like this and then we can put some barrels maybe I mean we could make these barrels we could make like a barrel at the bottom here like that and then it adds a bit of detail but then it's also extra storage and then I was thinking chests like this I finished this off and I'm really happy with it. I just wanted this for storage. It was going to be just for aesthetics only because it does say this needs to be a storage building on the blueprint. But I think we can also use this for maybe some overflow storage like granite and things like that. Just bulk storage for most of the blocks. And if we look at this blueprint here we can see that it says that we need four chests, which we've definitely done, and one lectern. So I think if we put this lectern down, I should we just we'll just plop it here for now. Uh where? I don't know. Oh, decision paralysis. Okay, there. Um Is this now a building? Oh, oh, hmm. This counts as a big house, not storage. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, it's good that it's a big house, but I kind of wanted it to be the storage building. I suppose we do... Ah, there we go. Storage. And then that would be the big house. Okay. All right, yeah. Because it's got the lectern and the chests. Brilliant. So now we've got the rank of peasant and we've got three buildings. I don't know why that's a butcher's. I don't know why that's a butcher's, but we'll change that. Yeah, Shire. Why is it called that? Ah, rename village. Okay. I'll tell you what, we're just going to leave this as Blossom Hill for now. But if anybody can come up with a better name, then um, leave it in the comments. Yay, finally. We have our first little baby. We're going to pop home now on our newly built bridge. And have a look at the notice board. I'm going to pop this back here. And I just wanted to show you this sign. This was a comment from the last episode. And I think it's a really good idea. Because we can use Create to make a really cool tree farm. And then decorate it so it looks like a proper lumber mill. So that's going to be next episode. But thanks for sticking around. And see you next time. Bye!